thyroid cancer presents typically as a lump. Uh, either one that someone's felt, either a doctor or the person themselves. Typically, an assessment is done with ultrasound. That gives you some idea as to the relative risk. Some of them look very benign. Others look a little bit more worrisome and some look very worrisome. Some look almost diagnostic of cancer. That helps us to uh, first of all decide is this something we can safely follow or is this something we should do a biopsy of or uh, you know what should be our next step. Once the biopsy is done it really gives you one of four possibilities. It's either benign which is great and that can you know generally be followed uh, with ultrasounds from time to time. Uh, sometimes it's cancer. Then we know that we have, uh, have to define what operation is going to be best because thyroid cancer is almost always uh, best treated with surgery. There are two other possibilities. First is no answer, um, in which case we you typically recommend either observation or repeating the biopsy. Or you get this thing called follicular or herthal cell neoplasm. And that's one where there isn't going to be an answer. The pathologists just are not able to tell us and they give us a probability to what is the answer that we got on the biopsy and then how do we make a decision to, uh, that's best for that individual. We'll make a recommendation. I think it's very important that physicians tell people what they would do if it were them or what they would do for their wife or their mother or uh, brother. But I think it's also important for them to understand how that person assesses risk. And really that's probably the most uh, fundamental part of this. And so one way to get at that is, are you the type of person that's going to uh, wake up at two in the morning in a sweat, wondering what is this thing in my neck? What is it doing? What's it gonna mean? In that case, I would probably be more aggressive surgically. On the other hand, if you're the type of person that doesn't worry that much about those things and is able to put them off out of your mind, or uh, the type of person that would be uh, devastated if they made a decision for surgery and then they had a complication from that surgery. Not that anyone wants a complication and certainly not that anyone wants to follow a cancer necessarily, but it's how you weight things, it's how you as an individual um, assess risk and uh, what the pros and cons are of any given choice. I will also typically tell people that I think there's a very clear right or wrong answer or I think there's a, that a reasonable person could choose either answer and that I'm comfortable doing either one as long as they are. And that also comes to the extent of an operation that you might need. So for example, if you have a smaller thyroid nodule and a normal uh, other side of the thyroid, um, you can take out half the thyroid and do very well, do just as well. You may be one who's who wants to just get it all out so that you don't have to observe as much, so you're not as concerned about what might be on that other side, and so that you can follow a blood test called thyroglobulin. Um, so there are pros and cons to doing half uh, uh, or a thyroid lobectomy or doing the total thyroidectomy, and it really comes down to, uh, some of it comes down to what your anatomy is, uh, some of it comes down to the configuration and size and certainty as to whether there's a cancer on the other side, whether there are lymph nodes involved, um, and some of it comes down to your own risk assessment and preference.